So for season one, the highlights for me, number one, hands down, getting time with my family. That was a whole driver for me. I said, what is it that my family enjoys doing together and how can I put myself in a position to spend more time, real intentional time, focused time, heart-to-heart uh, -heart time with my family. I love the times where we could sit in the jacuzzi in the evening after a day of skiing and talk about all the different experiences of the day. Of the day. We'd do the same thing at dinner time. You'd rehash special moments, kind of the first for each person. The other thing for me was events. I mean, just everything from Aspen X Games to the SIA Outdoor Retailer, the snow show there in Denver. Really fun, just connecting with people in the industry. The different individuals that stood out as legends in our mind, uh, the people that we've looked up to in the past, um, meeting some of them live and in person. We're talking Olympic athletes and or ski movie, Warren Miller movie people, or just people that you know, you've know you kind of noticed on Instagram that are really doing a good job of sharing their story and sharing their authentic passion for living um, for the sport. Even today as I share this, I wanna just uh, shout out to Dave uh, Treadway and his family, Tessa and their family. Dave passed away this week and it's such a huge sad thing when anybody passes away early. He was 34 years old and had a love for life. I loved his love for the Lord, his faith, his family, his priorities were in line in my opinion. And it's just such a tragedy. But it was meeting those kinds of individuals along the way and connecting with them that was really fun for us. Another thing that was really powerful for me was just running into different ones that we love, whether it was a strategic coach client, whether it was one of my customers, whether it was a family member or a friend who would make their time available to ski with us at a different resort. Anyways, what an epic trip it was for us. So my highlight for season one with the Big Ski family, it was amazing. It was better than I had ever dreamed it would be. First of all, the opportunity to go to 17 different mountains was just great. I'm so thankful to my husband for allowing our family to do that. Um, I'm really big on the family relationships. So I really felt like we bonded together and um, when we're at home, it seems like everybody's going in a million different directions, but we were just all together, working together, doing the same thing. And it was a blast. Lots of heartstrings were tied, lots of momentous, um, times were there. Um, seeing the kids improve in their skiing was great. I improved as a skier. Of course, the bluebird days were the best. Bachelor was my highlight. It had dumped. We went up, the bowl was open. We went up there and going through that powder with my kids, all yipping and yowling, hooping and hauling was just great. Oh, another highlight was the SIA convention in Colorado really enjoyed meeting the different people there and seeing the ski industry and um, this is, was so much about the people that we met. It was overall a great experience. I'm so thankful I had the opportunity and I'm looking forward to next season. So my highlight um, of this whole trip and just the whole reason behind it is just the way I was able to get out of my environment of back home and work and busy schedules and everyone running all over the place and get to get away as a family and do this rad adventure while making a ton of memories that I just know I'll cherish for the rest of my life and I saw this season going into it as kind of like this last time that I could maybe invest that much time into my family and so I'm really thankful that I was able to do that and just being able to connect with the little ones in the evenings and cheer them on while they're learning these amazing tricks and as well as yeah just being able to you know have family bible times in the evening like everyone was together all the time so that had its challenges because I mean it gave us lots more opportunities to rub each other wrong. It also gave us lots of opportunities to work through things and strengthen our relationships and I feel like I came out of this season so much closer to maybe some of the siblings in the family that I haven't been so super close with um, in the past. So uh, that was a highlight and then the friendliest mountain. I will say the friendliest mountain was Steamboat. I think the, the staff there and everyone that I met on the mountain just had a smile on their face and they were so welcoming. Man, there was definitely a ton, but I would say kind of the highlights of the season was a couple of the different um, shoots, I guess, we skied. I know one in Mammoth was just a ton of fun. Uh, I got to watch Barrington and Daddy and uh, 
a friend hit that one with us and uh, it was really fun to be able to stomp that one after on the third try. <laughs> but And then Squaw Valley was a highlight for me just because of all of the good memories we've had there. And I mean, the Palisades have been on my bucket list. I've been chinking off the, the routes one by one. I know what inspired me was uh, watching uh, Squaw Valley 1999 and Scott Smith and all those guys, Shane McConkey, hit all the gnarly lines there. And uh, I eventually want to hit all of them, but you have to have nice snow conditions, which we didn't have. So we had to go a little smaller than than I wanted to, but it's still a ton of fun. And then the last one was probably Corbett's Kalar at Jackson Hole. Um, by far the scariest thing I've done. And it was just so much fun to be able to do that with daddy. So had a blast, hard to pick, but those I'd say were, were the top three. All right, thanks. Yep. Highlight for me for sure was getting back into jumping this year. I had taken a break completely for two years with jumping. All ski jumps, I just didn't do it. I had fractured my ankle two years ago and I also like tore some muscles in my leg, so I was just like so scared. And this year I was really encouraged by some awesome people, most of them being my siblings, and Baylor was like, dude, you can do this, you need to get back in it. So I started small, was able to land a ton perfectly, and I found out jumping can be really fun when you don't you know, break things or when you, when you make your landing, it's so much more enjoyable than not making your landing. Don't overshoot, don't knuckle. Both are highly painful. I've experienced both multiple times. Okay, talk about a surprise, you guys. Steamboat was definitely another huge highlight for us. We showed up just for a normal family ski day at Steamboat, Colorado. Had an awesome time there, and then we started hearing on every chairlift ride about this winter carnival, and we were like, let's go, this sounds like so much fun. It was happening the evening of our family ski day, so we ended up sticking around in town, and as you saw in a previous episode, I mean, it was a show to remember, and it was just amazing seeing like flaming toboggans going down the hill, I mean, full on, fireworks going off these people's backs like who does this and it was just like so untamed so wild like little children going off jumps with flares and like it was just absolutely no rules no restrictions steamboat was a great experience and a memory for sure that we'll definitely remember forever um, my highlight probably this season was landing my first backflip at Bachelor. Um, that's been a really dream of mine for a really long time and I always wanted to land a backflip when I was 16. So that was a big highlight and then also I love skiing with um, all the legends at Squaw Valley. Um, Squaw Valley is my favorite mountain and it's also like my favorite type of snow to ski on because it's spring skiing, corn snow and slushy bumps, stuff like that. And then I also like skiing with them because they're really good at skiing and it helped me improve my skills. Some of my highlights were just um, seeing all these different resorts and really getting to know the a lot of the ski towns better so then like, when people say like, oh, Jackson Hole, I know what they're talking about and stuff. So that was really fun for me. Also, um, yeah, and also experiencing all the different mountains. Everyone has their unique stuff like uh, Jackson Hole has like this dong thing that you hit and like or they have the Waffle House at the top of the mountain, or like, I don't know, every single mountain has their different things, so that's fun to discover those. Also, I really felt like I've grown the season in my skiing abilities, which has been super awesome. My highlight probably was at Squaw, um, doing backflips and palisades. That was just really fun. Since those were some of my uh, first backflips off some park jumps. Uh, Mammoth was also a highlight um, because I skied like uh, the biggest cliff I've ever done there. And um, and did you just automatically go off that jump or were you watching people before you went? Yeah, Baylor, Daddy, and Brendan Stevens, I watched go off before. And, and what did you think? You were just like... Yeah, I was like, I, if I could just get off the cliff, then I'm good. Through these three months of this trip, um, my highlight was the X Games. It was basically like Olympic. So it was really cool to see all the awesome athletes go off and do these crazy tricks, so yeah. Fun. What else do you think? How about your uh, personal skiing? Uh, what was like your personal best? Uh, probably my cliff that I did. That was the biggest cliff I've ever done, and it was really scary. Wow. Did yeah. you land it or? Uh, no, I crashed. That was at Jackson Hole. Oh. Yeah, that was also a highlight because it really pushed me in a lot of ways uh -huh. and all different um, types of skiing. So yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like you got to know your siblings better? Yeah, I feel like um, we were all always together because in the car and then at the house and in the jacuzzi. So it was fun to 
Castle bonding time also. So yeah. All right, thanks. All right, Bentley, tell us about your favorite highlights for this season of the Big Ski Family. Um, skiing in general, I really improved all my skills and it was just a great time. And then Jackson Hole was my favorite part. Why was Jackson Hole your favorite? Uh, since riding up on the tram, you were with like a hundred of your best friends in there. <laughs> and um, going to the Waffle House <coughs> up at the top was really fun. Uh -huh. And that was my highlight of the season. Did you send some cliffs after that? Oh yeah, you're right, I did. Um, yep, it was like 12 feet, 15. Wow, yeah. wow. So you want to do season two? Yep. All right. Woo! Hey Cordelia, tell us about your favorite highlights. Okay, um, I really like um, skiing with my family since it feels like you have like friends and family. Great. Since y'all in one trim and it's very fun. Do you feel like you improved? Yes, like going off jumps and stuff. That my I follow uh, my older brother. He goes off lots of jumps and bumps and stuff. So I follow him and. I feel like that's improved my scheme. Good. Did you do some boxes this year? Yep. I did um, like maybe 10 boxes. Uh huh. Are you looking forward to next season? Yep. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this highlights video. Just because ski season is over does not mean the fun is over though. Stay tuned for more videos on how we do our food, skiing techniques, how we unload and load our trailer and van, about our gear, how we chose our vehicle, <laughs> how we built our ski rack. Anything else you need to know? Subscribe, like, comment! comment.